name is Tuva Adams Tuva. I'm the founding director of the Adams Group of Companies, uh, which also comprises of Biodomain Kenya. Entrepreneurs is like a rose, yeah? People look at it and it's very, very beautiful, but it has a bit of thorns. In my mind, I thought this will be a good opportunity for me to set up something which will impact very many people in this, not, not only in Kenya, not only in Africa, but around the globe. Uh, our core business is domain registration, hosting, uh, registering certificates, security certificates, and developing websites. A domain is, uh, okay, I'll give you a practical example. When you are going, when you, when, you have, when you have a new car, and you need to key in the location for your home. So normally it's latitude and longitude, but the system allows you to key in home as where, where, where you're going and becomes a bit easy. Same thing, um, a, a, a domain name is an IP address, right? But we, we cover it or give it a very easy name. For example, if I was to give you an IP, remembering it will be very, very hard. But if I told you it's bdk.ke and it takes you to buy domain Canada.ca, it gives you the, it takes you to where you're supposed to go. So a domain name is the cover of an IP for people to easily remember. So you can associate the domain name to the brand. Yeah, so that's what a domain name is. Basically, my history. I'm an ICT major, so my degree is in IT. So my foundation was in, I, looked for, I worked for local banks when I was in university. So I was at USAU. And uh, when I was there, after my first year, I went to work for a local bank. Actually, I worked for three local banks and in the ICT sector. So I think from a very young age, from when even I was in, in high school, uh, primary school, I knew this was my passion. So when I finished the general learning or basically getting some input on, you know, IT and what it entails from the bank's general rules of doing business and all that, I decided to open my own business, which was, uh, which is now what it is right now. So many years later, uh, we've grown and uh, you know, structures are now in place. We are literally trying to hand it over to the next generation and figure out you know, what, what, what do you do from there. I think it's always been in my heart. I've always liked doing business. And um, entrepreneurship is not so easy. Entrepreneurship looks very beautiful. Entrepreneurship is like a rose, yeah? People look at it and it's very, very beautiful, but it has a bit of thorns. But I've always admired people like Chris Kirubi when I was growing up, as in from a very young age, uh, God, God rest his soul. But I always looked at him on TV and I was like, you know, I would want to be someone like him when I grow up. Um, you know, the current chairman for NSC, um, Wanaki Prono, I've always admired what he, he does. So such kind of people, I looked at them when I was very, very young. So later on in life, meeting them, I know, uh, you know, interacting, having coffee, you know, exchanging some more, that really inspired me. So if uh, people who maybe came from almost nothing, and if you look ar around the globe, realize people come from nothing and over time they're able to build brands which impact people. So in my, in, in my mind, I thought this will be a good opportunity for me to set up something which will impact very many people in this, not, not only in Kenya, not only in Africa, but around the globe. The name of the company came upon we are basically looking at our core business, right? So this is some advice also I would advise maybe to young, young entrepreneurs. When you're buying a domain name, you need to figure out what does your business do. For example, for us, Buy Domain Kenya came because, you know, we sell domains. That's our core business. So in the name of the brand, we made sure that, you know, we are buying, buy is there, our domain name is there, and the name of the country is also there. So for example, uh, we have a, have a brand called 254.ke, we have one called shamba.ke. So when you're buying a domain, you need to have it very close to whatever business you're doing. So how, how Google or search engines do the ranking is they look at what, what people are searching. So we sat down and analyzed and saw that what do people search for when they're buying domains. So the keywords were mostly buy, domain and Kenya. So we combined that and, and that became our business. Uh, I'll be very honest, we've never raised funds for any, for any business. We've started from scratch. Uh, we used to go knocking on people's business, or no, people's, knocking on people's businesses. Uh, we would take a flight, uh, like uh, a building. At that time, they were laying out fiber 
So there was a whole list of all the buildings that were, were being laid out with fiber. So we use that as a, as a template. So we will say, okay, fine, today we'll go to CBD and these are the number of buildings we'll hit. And we'll start downstairs and come down or go to the topmost floor and just talk to people coming down bit by bit. And that's how we started the business. Realized that sometimes we even did work for free because what we were doing was not really looking for money. We're just trying to establish uh, up the brand. You know, people need to say, we associate this good work with this brand. But without opportunity, without an opportunity to, to showcase what you're able to do, people cannot see. So you're able to sell when people go to your website. For example, right now, if you go to bdk.ke, that's, that's our domain. If you go through the portfolio, even without us saying a single word, word you're able to say, okay, fine, these guys do business with Action Aid, they do business with the government, they do business with Uraya Trust. Those are major brands. So based on that, it gives us a bit of opportunity, or gives us a bit of leverage for people to say, okay, fine, if they're able to do business with these guys, they've been in business for this long, I think that the right people to do business with us. So initially, it wasn't even looking about, it wasn't looking for money as such. It was about establishing the brand. And we were very careful about sourcing for funds because we didn't want to dilute our shareholding. Uh, we didn't want to basically bring people for the sake of money. We weren't that greedy. So you realize the first few years, we weren't really making a lot of uh, profit or whatever. It was really tough. Uh, payroll was an issue, office rent was an issue. Even my own personal home paying was an issue. Um, at that time, I got my first car. Paying for the loan was a big issue. So those are the troubles which we came, we came through to where we are right now. Uh, but it's a blessing because uh, right now the brand has grown. We are not as big as Google or the other brands, but we are trying. So our concept has been, let's grow, but very slowly. So whatever we get is what we use to grow. We've never gone and taken a loan to establish the brand. If, for example, we have to work from home, well, that's what we do initially to get the brand where it is. If people have to work remotely, that's what we do. So we've been very careful about uh, how we spend money. We have not been so extravagant. I think we got an office in Westlands almost five, six years of doing business. That's when we got our first 5,000 square feet of, of space. So to be very honest, we've not really engaged investors. At, to date, we still get offers. People call us from different areas, send us emails, and they want to be part of the brand. They say, okay, fine, Adams, how much did you make in the last three years? Can we give you five times that? But as in, that's not what we're going for. We want to develop a brand that will, will we really don't want to grow so fast. We, don't, we want to grow at the right amount, or the, the right pace, uh, knowing very well we have a very solid foundation, right? We don't want to pile up on things, look so grand, but in real sense, we are empty inside. So to me, this has really worked. And I also encourage people who are starting business not to be so quick to take people's money, just to be careful who they interact with. Um, slow is better. Uh, a successful customer base is built on trust, right? So for us, uh, we focus on quality mostly. So if you look at our clientele, it's mostly NGOs, right? So maybe we might not be so cheap as people want us to be, but the few clients we get, we make sure we give them value, right? So that's the concept we've used all through. Uh, we have guys in the industry who have other registrars who are doing very well. These are backed up by multinationals and whatever. So people who are willing to sell a domain at a loss to, 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 to acquire a client, uh, but maybe might have a big hard time to, to maintain a relationship. So for us, we'd rather have 10 clients, but give them quality and be able to give them the right attention rather than have 100 who maybe were not able to sustain or people live with a heavy heart. To be very honest, we don't do so much marketing. We don't do so much marketing. Um, the brand sells itself. Uh, we have a few people in sales who basically will look for business that's normal, but most of the business we get is based on referral and Google searches. That's where we get most of our, of, of, of our clientele from. Success means 
the business is solid, the structures are solid, it means you can step out of the business and uh, it can still run. There's nothing as bad as when you leave the organization, it crumbles. Um, you know, people have to start looking for you. So for me, success means even as the business is growing right now, I make sure that the, the management coming in or the management I put in place, right, is able to sustain the business. You're talking about 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, because you realize that domain hosting or the domain business is very sensitive. We are, we are hosting for very sensitive clients. Uh, you don't want to be shut down tomorrow or the day after. You want to be able to run for 40 years, 50 years. These businesses don't grow. Uh, an NGO will be picked up by a new director and a new director and they'll always renew with you. So you want it to grow to a scale where it can be listed, right? And what that means is that you, don't, you, shouldn't, let, you shouldn't set people up to fail. Give them enough uh, knowledge and power right, for them to be able to grow the business, whether you're there or not. That is to me that, that, that is success. Whether your face is there or not, the business must be able to continue. You know, people associate uh, a good business or a good brand to a good location, right? So if you're going to pay X amount of uh, shillings to, you know, put up your business in a fancy office, it's very expensive. So there need to be a kind of balance between, um, you know, how, 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 how you genuinely represent yourself. There's a very uh, dicey balance there which you need, you, to, to, you, need to be able to, you need to be able to achieve uh, initially. Over time, you realize that when you start a business, you're alone. You're the face of the company. Uh, people associate you with the business. You realize we have had clients for about 10, 10 years, 15 years, right? They have dealt with Adams all through. So telling them that, okay, fine, I'm no longer in the day-to-day -day running of the business. Now we have a structure. We have call ABCD, send an email to them. It's very hard. So most people will take it like, okay, now Adams, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to, you know, yeah. But that's basically, initially starting, that's a major issue. And when you get to a point where you want the brand to be more visible than you, that is when, the, that's, that's another delicate balance. So how do you, again, tell your clients, okay, fine, you don't need to call me anymore. You don't need to text me anymore. There's a system. There are people who will take care of you going forward. So at, when, when it gets to that point of, of the business, that's also another challenge. Um, first of all, the first step or the steps to running a successful business is you need to identify what you want to do, right? That's the most important thing. So I tell people, if you have a degree in IT, if you have a degree in human, that is where, that, that's where your passion is. And, and the funny thing is we realize this, our hearts dream at a very early age, just that we don't take it seriously. So you realize if from a very young age you like to sing, that is your passion. Right? It does not wear off, it's just you. You wake up, uh, sleep, wake up, that is what we'll always um, be passionate about, whatever. So for, for someone like me, I've always had maybe one, two different passions, but uh, IT was my core passion. So I tell people step number one is identify the right, the right business. Right? The right business is what you think about when you, when, when you wake up late at night. That is the right business, right? Passion builds a strong brand. You need to be very passionate about it. So once you identify the brand, you need to be able to see, the second item is how do I learn? How do I go learn from someone who's already done it before? So this is where now you turn down and say, okay, fine, I'm going to find an internship somewhere and I'm going to spend two years, three years learning this business. How do I do it professionally? How do I wear a tie? How do I wear a suit? Uh, you know, how do I go for meetings? How do I write emails? That is step number two. And most people jump from university to doing the business without that bit. And it's very, very important. Uh, so for example, if I want to get into, for example, you know, I want to own a circle at some point, I need to learn the financial institution, right? So how do I join a bank, you know? And if, for most people when they're applying for jobs, they don't, they want to send a thousand CVs to every single person that, that, that is there. I tell people, no, that's not how it's done. Identify a brand that you like, right? Um, you know, I've banked with these guys. I, I know how they do business. I want to be part of them. Understand who's the bank manager or operations manager. I know it's, it seems like a lot of work, but you need to fine tune it to such as, fine tune it in such a way that 
you know exactly what they stand for, their values you've gone through their website, you understand exactly how they do, they do business. So that when you're applying, you're making that application, you know who you're talking to, you understand their culture. When you're going for the interview, you know exactly what you're talking about. So once you're in that line of business, it becomes, you know, you jump from one step to another, learn, grow in that business, so that when you exit, there are some things no one can ever take from you. What you've learned in that particular business, no one can say, okay, fine, I'm taking this away. Because you're living, it, it becomes part of you. So once you, you've learned that, third item is you start. Start small, right? Start very small. Uh, the humility of uh, a business, or, or humility of a businessman when they're starting is usually very, very, it's tricky because you see, as a businessman, you want to be seen grand and big and all that. In the, in, 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 in the meantime, you're killing yourself, right? Instead of saving and building on something more solid, you're spending all your money and resources on paying rent, paying 15 employees, right? So initially, I say, before you understand your own business, yeah, don't hire anyone. Don't hire anyone. You need to understand how to sell yourself. When you call a programmer, for example, for us, I know every single, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Right? So you cannot come and tell me, okay, fine, Adam says this and this issue. I know exactly what you're doing. When you talk, talking about the HR team, I know how to hire. Yeah, I know how to do all those. So every single part of the business, I understand. Right? So when it gets to that point, I can say I'm hiring a team based on knowledge and I hire slowly. Right? You hire slowly, you understand them, and you're training them on a sales, on a process or a business you already understand. You've done it, you know the ins and outs, you know how the clients respond, you know how the clients, um, you know, uh, how, uh, the, how they respond, the kind of feedback you expect, how, you know, the nitty gritties, right? So understand the business, do the business yourself initially. That's why I encourage people, get, get online first, right? If you're selling chondos, you're selling whatever kind of business you're doing, First of all, get online. So go to buy domain Kenya, that's it at KE. Buy your domain, <laughs> register it, uh, set up your website and sell online fast. Right? And these days, it's, it's, not, it's not like in the old, in the in the in the old in the old era where we didn't have technology. Right now technology is there, right? We are able to easily uh, we're able to easily reach people with a few clicks, right? So start there, even if you're going to do the business from home, that's where you're supposed to be, right? When the money is coming in, people are paying you. You can predict your income for the next three months. That's when you take the first step, right? And take a small, you know, just a small space for you to start, right? Hire one person. Yeah, if you look at the history of Chris Kirube, I think he started with one secretary, right? And for a whole week or a whole month, he didn't even know what he was doing, right? So if, if such people can do whatever they've done, uh, you know, so far, their brand still, you know, we still use big to date. Um, so, uh, in my thinking, that's, 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 that's how it's supposed to, do, to be done. Then gradually build the business to what it's supposed to be. So, the structures are done, your people are there. You need to make sure that you set up the team to succeed you as the entrepreneur because you don't want to be there all the time. You don't want to be the face of the business all the time. So, now you're setting yourself up to be an advisor, right? Uh, advisor, you can become chairman, you can call all those fancy names you want but you're no longer actively involved in the business. So you then plan for them to, to continue the business without, now you can hire the MBAs and you know, the fancy titles and all that, and you step aside, letting them you know, get listed. That, that, basically, that would be my line of thinking. Start small, right? Be patient, be, uh, be patient, it takes time. Um, entrepreneurship is very lonely. It's very lonely. Not everyone thinks like an entrepreneur. Not, all, not everyone is born to become an entrepreneur. So my thinking, and maybe someone who we went to school with, or maybe uh, is my good friend, is very different, right? We might be in the same restaurant having coffee, but my thinking and there is a difference. So there's a lot of this. There's a lot of influence, social media, and all that. We expect you to, you know, you're in business. You need to drive a Range Rover, such kind of mentality. So you need to understand yourself. Be patient and let the business grow at its own pace. I'm on IG, uh, Tuva Adams Tuva. I'm on Facebook, uh, Tuva Adams Tuva. Uh, but mostly I'm on email, right? So if you go to info at buydomainkenya.co.k, you can reach out and then we can see how we can help each other out. 
Biodomain Kenya is a long link. So we tell people, we've shown today, uh, uh, the, in business you want people to have a very easy time accessing you. So we summarized our name to bdk.ke. So if you go to bdk.ke, it will be directed to the full name Biodomain Kenya.ca.ke. So when you land on the website, the first thing to do is to do a search for your domain name. For example, you want your uh, model, right? Your model, you want a brand name for yourself, right? So for example, I uh, have a personal brand called tuvadamstuva.me.ke, that's a personal brand. So for example, if you want to have your brand, you can say you want grace.me.ke. So you'll do a search, the system will tell you whether the domain is available or not. You'll add hosting, you'll add an SSL certificate, and it will, it will prompt you uh, to fill in your details and allow you to pay. So the system is fully automated. Whether there's someone in the office or not, you'll be able to pay. It will be a prompt on, on your phone for you to fill in your details. Once you pay, uh, the payment gateway communicates with the system, tells the, the gateway that this person has paid. It will automatically register your domain, send you your credentials on, on, on uh, send you your credentials on email, right? So from there you can build your website and build your brand. Mm -hmm.